Hello and welcome to Avio's Journey YouTube channel. Today, I'm going over something cool that I love uh, about Adobe Audition. As you know, uh, well, if you don't know, I use Adobe Audition for um, my voiceover business. I absolutely love it. But there's a feature here I wanted to go over today because I get asked this question a lot, and that's the punch and roll. Uh, a lot of uh, new people coming into the business, even professionals who have been doing this for a while, you know, uh, time is always our, uh, you know, it's it's not necessarily always against us, but it's definitely something that we have to really take seriously because we want to limit the amount of time it takes for us to do all of the things on the back end because that's just eating up time. So editing, mastering, all of those things can be a challenge. And especially when you're doing long form narration like audiobooks and e-learning, things like that, corporate, you know, it, it takes a while to do the editing. One of the big things that that takes a lot of time is pickups as well, especially when you, you know, you, you do all this work and then it comes back and you've got, you know, 50 pickups that you got to do or something like that. But uh, I want to go over the punch and roll and how easy it is in Adobe Audition now, uh, which is, it's just, it's so easy. It's ridiculous. I love it. Uh, this is something Adobe Audition added recently this year, um, uh, Adobe Audition CC 2019. And it's, it's absolutely incredible. But uh, for those of you who don't know what punch and roll is, uh, basically, it's a method of recording over uh, an error or a mistake or or a change in the script. Uh, and uh, basically, what you do is, is that you pick a spot where you want to record. And in order to get the feel right, because if you've been doing this for a while, you know, and if you're just starting out, you're learning that it's very difficult after you've recorded something to go back and literally, you know, make it sound exactly the same with the same intonation and all that stuff. So uh, what a punch and roll does is that you, know, you punch it in at a certain spot and then it rolls back so that you get to listen to your tone and your pitch and how you're speaking. So then once it gets to the time for you to record, you can actually record, uh, you know, a, 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 um, a, an end product that is way better than if you were just you know, recording it, you know, out of willy nilly a couple days later. So that's the wonder about punch and roll. Also, what's exciting about punch and roll too is if you're doing long form narration, there's, you know, most people, what they do is they continue to narrate all the way through. If they make a mistake, you know, they use like a clicker or something. Um, and that's great. That's a, that's a wonderful method of doing it. Um, when I first started out, I did it differently, not because I was any, you know, I had a better way to do it just because I didn't know. So what I did was I started doing punch and roll as I went through it. Now, the method does make it take a little bit longer for you to finish the recording. But when you finish the recording, you know what I mean? You're not going back and and clipping out things and doing it all over, you know, while you go back through it. Because those people who, you know, do work on audiobooks or e-learning and stuff like that know that the real amount of time is on the back end and the editing because you got to go back through it. You got to listen to all of it and then edit all of it and all that kind of stuff. So the punch and roll is a really fantastic thing. So anyway, so seeing the screen here, this is just something that I just did. Uh, I'm in my studio, so you can see that it's not, uh, I'm not in my, my recording booth. I'm just out here in my studio. So I'll go ahead and play this. This is Anthony Pika, and we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. Let's do it. All right, so I just I laid that down before I started recording. And uh, what I want to do is let's say that um, this is Anthony Pika, and we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. So let's say the punch and roll here, you know, let's say we're going to to learn about um, the punch and roll. And let's say that I messed up the punch and roll. Okay, so let's say uh, the punch and roll. Let's do something here. Well, I'll go like the punch and roll. All right, so I overdid it there, so I could, so we, you know, we can go ahead and see, you know, an error here. So let's, okay, so I, the punch and roll. Let's do it. <laughs> so, anyways, clearly you can see that that's not okay. All right, so what I want to do is I want to get the same feel of all of this. I want to record re record over that by saying the punch and roll, but I want to do it in a manner that is going to stay consistent. And we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and this is what I'm going to record over. So I'm going to go ahead and put my marker here. And down here on the screen, there is this uh, the record button. If I right click it, these things come up here. All right. And basically, that's what you want to go down to punch and roll and click on that. 
All right, now it's like this. So now when I hit this record button, what this should do is it should start back here, all right? And it should start playing. And then once it gets here, it will start to record so I can record it, all right? So let's go ahead and take a shot here. And we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. All right, and then I just stopped it by pressing the space bar. So now, and we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. All right, and you can see this mess here because I'm in my studio <laughs> and I had to, to clean that up some. All right, the punch and roll. All right, but as you can tell, there's still a little P there. So if I want to go back and, and say- And we are here today to learn about- So let's do it one more time. So I'm going to go here. So it's going to take it all the way back to there. And we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. All right, punch, punch and roll. There you go. Look at I did it again. So I can do it. The cool thing about this is you can do it over and over again, right? And we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. And we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. All right. And like I said, since I'm in my studio and it's not in there, I got to take some of this stuff away here. And uh, But anyways, so now, so hopefully you get an idea of, you know what I mean? What? And we are here today to learn about the punch and roll. Let's do it. So it is the punch and roll is an excellent, excellent way to go back, figure out uh, how to record something and make it sound exactly the same. One more tip about using the punch and roll. You really want to use this on raw, uh, on raw, on, on, a, on a raw file, meaning that you don't want to like whenever I do whenever I record a file, what I do is I actually go and I save the raw file without having any EQ or any editing done to it. Now, if I wanted to go through and edit out like little things like clicks and pops that are not a part of the actual EQing or changing the sound of my voice, that's fine. But whenever I do something where I degrade the audio or change the actual sound of it, then you know you don't you want to save before you do that. So when you go back and do your punch and roll and you get it in there, that you are you are recording it exactly the same as the rest of it sounds because it can be very difficult to do it the other way like to record it, uh, something completely done and then go back and do it now i'm not gonna lie i've tried a lot to do this and sometimes when i'm going really fast and a customer excuse me needs a product i'll go ahead and take care of it for them like that but for the most part i try not to do that so anyways this is the punch and roll i hope this helps please subscribe leave some comments below share this with somebody i really appreciate it thank you so much have a good one Take it easy.